and, and I'm always going. I'm, my daughter-in-law calls me the hummingbird. But then Kathy got the diagnosis, ovarian cancer, stage three out of four. That was nine months ago. I never smoked. There were no, never any drugs, anything like that. And I've tried to eat a healthy diet all, all my life. But things can still happen, even if you do everything correctly. The CDC confirms most patients who develop cancer in their ovaries are just like Kathy. They have no high risk factors such as a genetic mutation, endometriosis, or trouble getting pregnant. And right now, there's no screening test like there is for cervical cancer. That makes ovarian cancer very difficult to detect early. So most women do present with a stage three or four ovarian. We we rarely find it at a stage one. Dr. Katina Robison is a gynecologic on oncologist at Tufts Medical Center. She tells her patients to think of their abdomen as a big balloon. And ovarian cancer spreads by sticking to everything floating in that balloon, which is the bowels, the liver, the stomach, all of those things. But even with standard treatment, which is chemotherapy followed by surgery, the survival rate for stage three ovarian cancer is tough to hear. Only 41% survive five years. And so everybody's wondering, how do we get our chemotherapy better to those cells in the abdomen? At Tufts Medical Center, doctors are already using this machine to heat the chemotherapy so it can be delivered during surgery to target other abdominal cancers. But recent studies have shown the treatment, nicknamed HIPEC, is effective for some patients with late stage ovarian cancer. So Dr. Robison offered it to Kathy, who agreed hot chemo was worth a shot. I guess cancer cells die at 104. Normal cells die at 111, so this is 107 degrees, which is when I said I hope they bought the good thermometer. <laughs> and today, Kathy's ovaries and abdomen are cancer-free. I know that I've improved her prognosis by her going through HIPEC, and that will at least get a survival benefit of potentially a year for her, and maybe, my hope, honestly,